final statement of the Prophet. And it teaches us about learning from those who came before us. He says, كَانَ فِي مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ There was in the generation before our generation, meaning in our cousins of faith, the Jews and the Christians, those who preceded us in faith, there was a righteous man. He was a well-known man. He lived amongst people and he had a difficulty in his life. He had a tragedy and a struggle that he could not cure for himself. Each and every one of us, we have that one thing. You know, you could be rich, you could be this, 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 but you can't cure your health. Or it could be you have amazing health, you have it, but I don't have any money. Or you, whatever, it could, not, it could be that you love someone that you can't help them. So this man, he had this one thing, although he had all the wealth and all the respect, everything was good in his life, but there was that one thing he can't change for himself. So this man said what I'm inviting you today to, and this man said, because I can't change my condition, and the only one that can change my condition is Allah, I can't help myself. I'm in, in that weakness where I have no power or authority over it. So the only way that I can help myself is I'm going to help someone else. So he decides at night, in the middle of the night, on a dark moonless night, I'm going to go out to a different part of the city because I want it to be sincere and I don't want anyone to glorify me or to feel that that, that good deed was done for the benefit of someone praising me for it. So in, I'm going to go to a different part of the city and I'm going to change the kind of clothing that people recognize me by. And in the middle of the dark, the first person I touch, al Temis, because it's dark, there's no street lights back then. The first person I bump into, I'm going to give them charity. And then I'm going to run away so that they don't ask me who you are, where you're from. So he goes out in the middle of the night, not even his wife knows, no one knows. And the first person he touches, he says, Tasaddaqtu alayk. Here, take some charity and runs off. He wakes up in the morning and the whole city is buzzing. And they're laughing, they're amused. And he goes, what, what, you know, what's happening? What's, what's, on, what, what's in the news today? And they said, Someone yesterday gave charity to a mugger. Like there was a guy there in the dark who was just about to rob this fool. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, he's just about to rob him. And just as he's about to say, your money or your life, he goes, here's some charity, brother. He runs away. And everyone found that amusing. He's like, so this man whose heart is alive with consciousness, with, you know, thinking about God, he said, I wanted to give charity like someone that was needy. I don't want to give a robber like, you know, mugger. I don't think God is going to accept that. Okay, I'm going to go out again tonight. So the next night, he does the same thing. The first person he touches, gives charity, runs. Next morning, everyone's like hysterical now. Laughing again. He goes, what happened? They said, May Allah protect us, Ya Rabb, our families and our home. Someone gave charity to a woman of the night. So, he, you know, he just gave it and ran. He said, that's, you know, I was hoping like I might meet someone who's like an orphan. Or... No, I'm going to go a, a third night. So the third night he goes out and he bought, gives him chair and runs off. And this time the whole city is like laughing. Someone stopped the wealthiest man of our city and gave him charity. Like he stopped the Lord Mayor and said, here's, you know, here's, here's a couple of bucks, right? And then every, the Sahaba, when they heard the Prophet retelling this story, they were laughing. And he said, Atadhakun, you laugh from this. Ammal ula, as for that first night, Akhadha sariqu sadaqata waktafa, wa lam ya'bi ahad. The thief who took that charity that night, he said, this is enough for me. I don't need to hurt anyone tonight. And went home. Now see that charity, that that man underestimated. See, we underestimate our good all the time. See, sometimes you see someone sitting at the corner of a road and you say, oh, if I give him like two pounds, he's going to drink it. Yeah, but perhaps if you give it to him, he won't stop other people. And perhaps if you give him something uh, that is enough for him, it might shelter him. And you might say, well, I don't have to stay late, longer or later on the street. I'm just going to go to the shelter. Perhaps your one charity may prevent harm to others who you never even thought about that were coming later in that road. 
And that man who took that mugger, who took that money, he said, I don't need to, I don't need to be out here. And he went back and, you know, spoke at their pub or wherever and he hang out and said, hey, this is, you know, can you believe this happened? And everyone's laughing at that fool who gave him charity. But that act of generosity did not just stop there. It extended to everyone else who might have been harmed by that mugger. And then the prophet said, as for the second night, that woman who none of, see, sometimes we're so judgmental. See, sometimes we look at a person, you might say, why would anyone do that to themselves? Or, you know, they, you know that's disease and home wrecker. And, you know, why would any woman, you know, sell herself like that? See, you, what, what, what your short-sightedness is that your assumption is that God's favor is more for you than her. And it's not entirely true. It's not true. And that woman, the Prophet said, she took that money, وَعَفَّتْ نَفْسَهَا And she said, I don't need to dishonor myself. And I'm going to go home. And he protected her and he protected those who were going to come for her from that sin. For us as Muslims, we have no judgment towards other people. The judgment is only with Allah. See, perhaps that young lady who you see with that contemptuous eye, contemptful eye, if she had been given the life you would given, she would be much better than you are today. See, sometimes we look and say, you know, I'm better, I would never do that. Yeah, but you didn't experience maybe what she experienced that led her to what she's doing. And had you been in those circumstances, you might have been worse than what she's in, or he's in. And that's the lesson from the Prophet The third night, that king, that rich man, who has more than the one who's being charitable to him, he took that money and felt shame. That people who are less than me are doing more than me. And the Prophet said, on the fourth night, the king was the one who went out hiding his persona and giving charity to others. And then the Prophet says what we might have heard before, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا Never look down at any good deed you do in life. Never look down at that one pound you give to that person on the side of the street. Never look down at a kind word you say to someone. Never look down at a smile you give to someone who you don't know really well, but that smile cheers them up that they say, wow, you know, I kind of feel, that was nice. No one, no one cared about me to ask to, to lift my bag or to hold that elevator. Don't ever look down at any good deed. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.